Next up is a recent alumnus from our Carthage chapter and the man that I served as an undergraduate director with. Wyatt Cooper, Carthage 17. Wyatt now lives in Madison, Wisconsin and works for Governor Scott Walker. During his time with DU, he not only served as an undergraduate director, but also interned for the headquarters. Today, he is a member of the fraternity's Men of Merit Committee. Wyatt is here today to talk about belonging, or why some DU brothers might not feel like they belong. He'll talk about his DU experience and what he thinks we can do to help our chapters and our brothers build a better sense of belonging within our chapters. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Wyatt Cooper, Carthage 17, for his Ignite entitled Belonging in DU. Good afternoon, brothers. I would like to pose to you a question. Why DU? It's a question that we're often asked by our fellow brothers, friends, and family members, and it's good to reflect on every now and then. I would like to, to take a moment and explain to you why I joined DU. Coming into college, I was very open-minded. I was looking for new experiences, and as an Eagle Scout, I was looking for new ways to further develop my leadership skills. During my first semester on, at Carthage College, I saw DU brothers in leadership positions all across campus. DUs seemed to be everywhere. It came as no surprise to me when I learned that my RA, who was so accepting and kind to me my first day at school, was also a DU. So when it came time to rush uh, spring semester, I knew that DU was where I needed to be. There seemed to be something different about this, this fraternity. It seemed to have a larger purpose, and I wanted to be a part of that purpose. Now the question, why DU, that is the easy question. The real question, however, is why do we stay in DU? The truth is, we're all looking for a place where we belong, whether we realize it or not. Whether we realize it or not. It's, sorry. <laughs> whether we realize it or not. DU is an amazing or organization where any man of merit that we initiate can belong, but in order to belong, he has to put forth the effort. Yesterday, we once again heard our oath of initiation. In that oath, we state, in that oath, we state, I will share with my brothers the duties of my chapter. Now, I will share with my duties the, what, I'm sorry guys, a little nervous up here. <laughs> Thank you. In that oath we state, I will share with my brothers the duties of my chapter. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be an elected officer of your chapter in order to be a leader. I was never elected. However, I served in many chair positions. I uh, attended many DU educational programs such as LI. And I eventually interned in, uh, at Delta Upsilon headquarters and served on the board of directors for a year. And now I'm on the Men of Merit Committee as an alumnus. But you don't have to do exactly what I did. My point here is that involvement leads to belonging. Conversely, I witnessed many men join the fraternity. They got along great with other brothers. They attended all the parties, but they did nothing else and eventually dropped. There's clearly a connection between belonging and involvement. Those who got involved never dropped. The reason I got so involved was because I believe very strongly in what this fraternity stands for. Now, being here with brothers from all over the United States and Canada, if this is your first LI, you're probably realizing that you've joined something truly bigger than yourself. Once you've made that realization, there are no limits to what you can accomplish in DU. Now, for those brothers who, got in, who joined DU and didn't get involved, at Carthage we would refer to them as ghost brothers because the only time we would see them was at a chapter meeting. If they don't get involved, 
they won't feel like they belong. And if they don't feel like they belong, then they won't get involved. I'm sorry, guys. This is really embarrassing. We have to ask ourselves why we have brothers that feel this way and what we can do to change that. It's an issue that can be detrimental to the health of a chapter over a period of time. A couple things that we can do in order to fix this, and they're not overnight changes either. Number one, we can change the expectations of our new members. When we, when we recruit, we often rely on things like our chapter's reputation on campus, Maybe our dues are lower than other fraternities. We talk about our, our parties, our philanthropies, and maybe we really push those parties. <laughs> but we are so much more than that. Something that's often overlooked in recruiting and even just in general is that we are a non-secret, non-hazing fraternity. It's something that really sets us apart. In addition to that, we need to understand that we are a fraternity and not a friend group. If we were a friend group, why would we be paying all this money when we could just hang out for free? The difference between fraternities and friend groups is that we have a common goal that we strive to achieve. In Delta Upsilon, that is to build better men through our four founding principles. Which leads me to the second change, changing the culture of our chapters. Culture defined as a set of customs, traditions, values, in a society or community. Now, depending on what your chapter's traditions are, that can have an effect on uh, a person's sense of belonging or lack thereof as well. However, what I'm more referring to here is our, how we perceive or act towards involvement in the fraternity. Like I said, we are here to build better men in order to do so, we should support our brothers who get involved, not tear them down. We should not be complacent with brothers who are not involved, but instead reach out to them, understand why they don't feel like they belong, and find ways to get them involved. And finally, find ways to get everyone involved, whether it be through chair positions, attending chapter events, or even just speaking up in chapter and getting more putting forth more effort in that way. Now, maybe you're sitting here and thinking, well, my chapter doesn't have a belonging issue. We're doing just fine. And maybe you are right now. But believe me, it doesn't take long for what may seem like a non-issue right now to quickly snowball into a chapter-wide crisis. A couple parting words of advice for you. We are men of merit. Always, always, always keep our chapter standards high and our four founding principles at the forefront of our actions. Thank you. <laughs>